Hi, this video is suggested by one of my subscribers and the suggestion was for me to make more videos on the Jimmy plugin which is something I intend to do in the future and also make videos about the layer effects plugin for GIMP and before I actually show you how to do something with this plugin I decided to make a standalone video about how to install it and how to get it to work because it can be a little bit tricky at first especially once you install it you go here and you see these options are not available and you're wondering how to get it to work so we're going to look into this in this video now the first thing you need to do is of course go to the page where the plugin is available to download and I'm going to of course include a link in the description for this. Once you get here for Windows, I'm using Windows 7 and I'm guessing this will work for other Windows systems as well. Just click on this file and this will download it. If you're using Google Chrome like me, you can just download it in your uh, downloads folder. Now once you do this, I'm going to minimize everything and start a GIMP here again so you can see how we can find our scripts folder now we go to the file menu here actually to the edit menu go to preferences go to folders down here and click on this option to expand because if you click here it's not going to expand you need to click on this triangle go down here scripts and you can see where this folder is located you can see the path now we can just copy this with control C just mark it like this control C and cancel this minimize GIMP and let me start these two folders here now this is my download folder you need to open that this is where the file got downloaded and this is the script folder and you can open any folder and just click like this and this will uh, mark the text and you can just press V and this will paste the path that we uh, previously copied. Just click enter and this will get you to this folder. And then all you need to do is just grab this file with your left mouse button, hold it and just uh, drop it here. Now I already did that so I don't need to do it again. But this is all you need to do to get this file uh, to your scripts folder. Okay, so once we have that file in the scripts folder, we need to restart GIMP and then this here will appear and you can choose layer effects and you can see that these options are grayed out. Actually, I'm using a dark theme. I have a video about how to get and install this dark theme. I'm going to include a link in the description for that if you want to check it out. But in this dark theme, the options that are not available are with this uh, kind of a bold and blurry text. So these are not available right now. We need to see how to get them to work. So your first instinct will be to create something new, add an image or create a new image. You go ahead and do that and nothing happens. Now, maybe you need two layers. So we duplicate this layer, maybe fill it with black cover. And as you can see, nothing happens. So in order to get this to be available, we need to have a layer which has an alpha channel. So if I add an alpha channel on this layer right now, you can see that the options now become available. We can choose them and we can uh, apply an effect. Now if I go back to this background layer, you see that they become unavailable again because this layer does not have alpha channel. So this is all you need to do. You need to have an alpha channel on the layer you're working on, whether it is text or an image or something in order to get this uh, options here to be available for you. I'm going to go ahead and make the thumbnail for this video with one of these and make a tutorial about it very soon. So that's it for this one. I hope that it was useful. If it was, make sure to like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and visit my channel for more. And also make sure you give me your suggestion for a new tutorial. And that's it for this one. Bye for now.